Bitcoin is very volatile. Right? We all know that. It's but difficult. Less volatile in recent weeks. It's only just started to pick up. We were in a historically low volatility since May. And now it's picking back up with this flurry of ETFs. The question is, is Bitcoin going to be banned, hacked, or copied? Right. It was the biggest crypto asset three years ago. But will it be banned? Will it be hacked? Will it be copied? That's the question for any investor. What happens next? There used to be a lot of Bitcoin skeptics. There were the deniers, people that think Bitcoin is tulip bulbs and a uh, Ponzi scheme. The deniers are pretty much silenced now, right? They have fallen out of consensus. Bloomberg, New York Times, CNBC, Congress, the SEC, the CFTC, the Treasury, all the central banks of the world, they all kind of acknowledge it's not tulip bulbs. It's a real asset. It's a digital commodity. So the deniers are out of the mainstream. Then you have the skeptics. Like, uh, Bitcoin is really good idea, but it's too good idea, so the government's going to ban it. Jamie Dimon said it. Larry Fink once said it's an index of money laundering. So the skeptics held the day for a while. But I think in the last 24 to 36 months, the skeptics have fallen out of the mainstream because... You can't, with a straight face, go on CNBC and say Bitcoin's going to be banned when they've got the ticker in the lower right corner and they've got the head of the SEC, the head of the CFTC, and the Secretary of the Treasury, and then Jerome Powell all saying, I think it's going to be around for a while. It's a real thing. But to your point, the best thing that could happen to Bitcoin is the volatility decreases a bit. But the correlations break down because if it's an uncorrelated asset and it's a and it's a legitimate asset, then most of the financial world is underexposed. So the magic recipe there or the sweet spot is uncorrelated, low volatility Bitcoin. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the last two investor classes are the technocrats. And this is a, a, a set of investors you want. They're the people that think Apple and Google and Amazon and Facebook and Microsoft are really powerful networks. Mm. And the reason why is because they're more powerful than most nation states. It, sh it should be pretty clear to people right now that, that Apple has a billion users and it would be easier for you to leave the United States of America and pick up your life elsewhere than it would be for you to leave the Apple ecosystem. <laughs> Just about everybody that got insanely wealthy over the past 20 or 30 years was a technocrat, really, if you think about it. And uh, then eventually you get the Warren Buffetts and you get the Carl Icons of the world that say, I don't know if I understand it, but it seems like a juggernaut. So I guess I'll buy $10 billion of it.